Russia now stepping up its assault on Ukraine, bombarding the capital and nearby cities. New video shows an airstrike hitting downtown Kyiv. It hit a tram carriage and surrounding buildings, causing a huge explosion. You can see it right there. At least one person was killed. The Pentagon says Russia has fired more than 900 missiles in nearly the three weeks since it invaded. And now there's concern Russia has appealed to China for help. CBS reporter Natalie Brand is in live in Washington with the very latest. Natalie. And Ryan, today the administration's national security advisor met with his Chinese counterpart in a meeting in Rome. It's a meeting described as an intense seven-hour session that reflects the gravity of this moment. Meanwhile, the Pentagon says it's clear Russia is expanding its targets in Ukraine. CBS News has confirmed the White House is discussing a possible presidential trip to Europe in the coming weeks for meetings with world leaders about the war in Ukraine. We discuss a range of ways and mechanics for engaging with our friends and partners around the world. Another round of talks between Ukraine and Russia have paused, but a Ukrainian presidential advisor says negotiations will continue Tuesday. Despite that, attacks remain relentless from residential areas in the capital of Kyiv and Kharkiv to a key military base around 15 miles from the border of Poland, a NATO member. It certainly appears as if the Russians are broadening their, their target set. Further escalation of the war, whether by accident or design, threatens all of humanity. Hours after more devastating Russian strikes on Mariupol, Ukrainian officials say around 160 vehicles carrying civilians were able to evacuate. The UN estimates nearly 3 million refugees have now fled Ukraine. A U.S. official says Russia has asked China for support, including military aid and equipment, though both nations have denied the reports. Any such support from anywhere in the world uh, would be of great concern to us. We will not allow any country uh, to compensate Russia uh, for its losses. National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan met with top Chinese officials in Rome Monday, one day after warning China would face consequences should it try to help Russia. And Natalie, Ukraine's president is expected to address Congress on Wednesday. So what are you hearing about his speech? Yeah, Ryan, this will be a virtual address before all members of Congress who have been invited. And really, I think what we can expect to hear is, again, President Zelensky pleading for what he believes his country needs most urgently urgently right now as well as a reminder to Congress of the conditions they are facing on the ground. Speaker Pelosi in announcing this virtual address today did not give details or a preview but said she has an idea of what he will ask for since they spoke about this late last week. Speaker Pelosi also said today she believes the U.S. will need to do much more for the refugees from Ukraine.